Here I have my Deity Theos receiver connected to my Zoom F6. And all the audio you're currently listening to is coming directly from this setup. Now you're probably wondering, how the heck did I even set this up? Well in this video, we're gonna break everything down. But first, I wanna tell you something. Before we even begin to think about how all of these cables are connected to each other, there's a very important tool that helps you stay organized with everything. But let me show you something. You see how right here everything looks super disorganized? I mean, if you were to record anything on location anywhere, then <laughs> how on earth would you be able to keep everything together? Well, technically you could, but it would be extremely difficult and less efficient. So in order to avoid this issue, I would advise investing into an audio bag, kind of like this, and particularly a bag that is manufactured for your mixer. Your bag is what's going to help you stay organized and efficient on set, keeping everything in one place. For example, your audio receiver will remain in the bag or clipped onto the bag, along with your mixer, accessories, and your cables. Now, if you're interested in learning more, I have a video on this audio bag that's designed by Orca. And in the video, I unbox an extra item that goes along with the bag and discuss the different things that help make it what it is. You can find a card above my head or find a link in the video description. Now, let's quickly touch on something else. Clipped onto my shirt right here is the lav mic that came with the Deity Theos kit. This is referred to as the Deity W Lav Pro. And the only reason you're able to hear my voice at the moment is because this microphone is connected to this wireless transmitter. This transmitter is taking information from the microphone and passing it onto the receiver and which the receiver is connected to the mixer. Now, how does this process work? Well, for a more detailed explanation on this, subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on a later video where we'll be discussing that topic more in depth. For now, just know that your receiver and transmitter should always be tuned in to the same frequency. This process is made easier through Deity Microphones with the Deity Theos' new feature to pair those frequencies together. And Deity Microphones covers this topic more in their video, which I will have a link down below. You'll want to connect the receiver to it by using a 3.5 millimeter to XLR cable. The 3.5 millimeter end will connect into the receiver's A port, and the male XLR end will connect into the Zoom F6's female input. I usually plug port A into input two and port B into input three. This is because I like reserving input one for the boom mic. Now, if you don't see any audio levels coming from your mixer at the moment, please make sure that your transmitter and receiver are actually powered on. In addition, with the Zoom F6, you'll want to make sure that your track knob is turned on. If it's not, you're going to find that the mixer is not picking up any feed from the receiver. Because I mean, the track knob's not on. How can it, it can't communicate? Pretty much the door is closed. Nothing can come in. But if you turn it on, then you're opening up the door. The next thing you'll want to do is set and check your gain levels from both ends. You want to do this to make sure that audio isn't peaking or isn't even near peaking. This means adjusting gain levels from the transmitter and the receiver. I would adjust the gain from the transmitter first and then move on to the receiver and then check your mixer. Typically, I like to stay in the minus 12 to minus 24 decibel range when recording audio. I like to stay in this range because in case for whatever reason something loud happens, the possibility of audio distorting is not as likely. You're pretty much giving yourself some breathing room. Now, if you're recording in 32-bit directly to your transmitter, which Deity Theos has that capability, Ability. Then if there's any distorted audio coming in from your mixer, you always have a backup coming from your transmitter. Learning how to work with wireless audio is an evolving journey. And believe me when I say this, I am not the perfect sound mixer and I'm still learning the ropes as I go. If there's anything you have questions about, please leave them down in the comments. If you're using the Deity Theos, let me know what you're using it for. There are affiliate links to the products you see in this video, as well as other valuable products you'll find to be really helpful when recording your video. So definitely take advantage of those affiliate Links. I also recommend watching my first video on the Deity Theos, where I share some really cool features about the system and why I enjoy using it. Thanks for choosing the Hack Experience, and I'll look forward to hearing from you in the comments.